In this video, we're going to talk about hydrates. A hydrate is a compound that has water loosely bound to it. It's not chemically bonded in the hydrogens and oxygens uh, are not bound to the chemical compound that it is a hydrate of. It's still water. It's just kind of loosely tied to the, the molecules. So the formula of the compound is written, whatever the, the compound is, and then a dot, and then some number of H2O. And that number tells us the ratio of the moles of water to the moles of the compound. So I'll show you what that means. So X is that number of moles of water per mole of compound. So for example, cobalt 2 chloride hexahydrate is COCl2 with a little dot. It's like we use in multiplication. Uh, 6H2O. So for every mole of cobalt 2 chloride, there are six moles of water. And so for uh, solving those problems, we'll have to figure out that ratio. So when we heat a hydrate, it causes the water to evaporate. Just like with the popcorn, you put the popcorn on the balance and when you popped it, it had lost mass. The water was driven off as steam. And so when we heat a hydrate compound, it, the water evaporates and you leave only the anhydrous salt. So if you think about the word anhydrous, hydrous would imply water. Anhydrous meaning the part that is not the water. So the compound by itself is the anhydrous salt. So if you heat our example compound, cobalt 2 chloride, uh, hexahydrate, the water will evaporate and then it will only leave co uh, cobalt 2 chloride, which is the anhydrous salt in that compound. It doesn't matter what that compound is, uh, that will be your anhydrous salt, the part that's not the water. So let's look at a typical problem. All right, so we have 100 grams of a hydrate of copper 2 sulfate and it's heated until the water is lost and 63.93 grams of the anhydrous salt remain. So we're going to try to figure out the formula of the hydrate. And these are fairly straightforward um, once you get it started, but we need to kind of talk through how to set up the problem. All right. So let's look at, uh, you've got 100 grams of copper 2 sulfate, copper is a plus 2, sulfate is a minus 2, so it's CuSO4. And we know that it's a hydrate, but we don't know this number, so our problem is going to be to find this number. So we have 100 grams of this hydrate, which is this whole thing. And then it says it's heated until the water is lost, and 63.93 grams of the anhydrous salt remains. So the anhydrous salt, remember, is the part without the water. So that's going to be 63.93 grams of just copper 2 sulfate. For the problem, what we need to find is the ratio of the moles of water, which we don't know, to the moles of copper 2 sulfate. But what we can figure out is how many grams of water we have. And once we know the grams of water, we can figure out the moles of water. We already know the grams of copper 2 sulfate. We can figure out the moles of copper 2 sulfate. All we need to do here is subtract our copper 2 sulfate from the total amount of the hydrate. Okay, so do that in your calculator. And you should end up, I'm going to write this over here, with 36.07 grams of water. And that is just 100 grams minus 63.93 grams. So once we do that, we just need to figure out the moles of each of our compounds. So we have 63.93 grams of CuSO4. And we'll go ahead and go from grams of copper 2 sulfate, so we're going to put that on the bottom to cancel, to moles of copper 2 sulfate. And we, when we add up uh, one copper, one that's uh, 63.55, one sulfur, that's going to be 32.07. And then we've got four oxygens, and that, that would be 4 times 16, which is 64.00. And when you add that up, you get 
and that's the number of grams per mole. So we know that one mole has a mass of 159.62 grams. And when you put that in your calculator, which you should do at this point, you should get 0 0.401 moles of CuSO4. And don't worry about sig figs at this point. We'll deal with that. Remember, I only look for that in the answer. The other thing we've got to find is our mole of, moles of water. We already know our grams. We know how to figure that out. So 36.07 grams of water. And we're going to just convert that to moles of water. So grams of water on the bottom to cancel, moles of water on top. Hopefully you guys are starting to remember the uh, molar mass of water. One mole of water has a molar mass of 18.016. And when I put that in my calculator, I got 2.002 moles of water. So in order to find this number that belongs in this blank, we need to find the ratio of the moles of water to the moles of copper to sulfate. So all we need to do is put those numbers in the, the little ratio here. So 2.002 .002 moles of water And we're going to divide by our 0 0.401 moles of CuSO4. Whoops, got that little. My pen's not quite catching up to me here. Okay, and then when I calculate that, I ended up with 4.99 moles of water per mole of. CuSO4. So what that tells me, this should be a whole number or something extremely close to it. When it asks me for the formula, what it's asking me to do is fill in that blank. So CuSO4 dot 5H2O. If this is not a whole number here, then you need to go back and check your molar masses and make sure you have those right. But this is the correct answer. So all we did was find the number to fill in that blank so that we would have the right formula for the hydrate. Okay? If you have questions, I'll see you in class.